Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates. Today I wanted to talk about a quite hot topic right now, which is the upcoming season pass for Star Wars Battlefront. A lot of people ask me all the time what I think will be in the season pass of Battlefront. Will it be Clone Wars, Force Awakens or something else? Well, in this video I wanted to explain what I think we'll see in the future expansions of Star Wars Battlefront. So far EA and DICE hasn't announced anything about what the season pass will be based around, but the only thing we know is that it will contain 4 expansions with 4 new heroes and villains, more than 20 new pieces of galactic tech including weapons, vehicles and star cards, 16 new multiplayer maps and 4 new game modes, and the fact that the first expansion pack is coming out early 2016. This doesn't really say much about the actual content it will contain other than giving us a size of each expansion. Keep in mind that they have also confirmed that we will be getting free maps and star cards on top of the season pass, so the numbers will be higher than these. The only piece of clue we have to work with here is that it says 16 additional multiplayer maps featuring new locations. New locations is a pretty vague term and it could mean new locations on the current planets, new planets from the old movies or even completely new planets from The Force Awakens. One of the most missed parts of the old games is the Clone Wars, and this is something that a lot of people are hoping to see in the Season Pass or in the sequels to Battlefront. The second thing that a lot of people are guessing will be in the Season Pass is content from The Force Awakens. My opinion between these two are that The Force Awakens will be so much more interesting to see in the Season Pass, it's completely new content that wouldn't be something we've already seen a thousand times, and it will also hopefully tie directly into The Force Awakens movie. However, I think what speaks for the Clone Wars is the fact that there are so much more Jedi and Sith, and also so much more vehicles and weapons. This means we'll get a lot more fun gameplay, even if The Force Awakens might be more interesting. On top of that, the Clone Wars battles were huge, something that the fights in the original trilogy never got close to, and the battles in The Force Awakens will most likely be pretty small compared to the Clone Wars battles as well, so I think that's one thing that really speaks for the Clone Wars. But the question is, what can we realistically expect from the upcoming expansion passes? Well, to be completely honest, we will most likely not be getting Clone Wars. The Clone Wars is huge, a lot bigger than the original trilogy, and considering that not all vehicles, heroes and planets from the original trilogy is in the main game, there is just no way that they can give Clone Wars the treatment it deserves in just a couple of expansion packs. It will have to be in a future game if they want to cover that era fully. The Force Awakens is a more realistic bet for the expansion packs and it will also mean that they can make content that directly relates to the new movie and leave off that marketing as well. But I'm honestly a bit unsure if even The Force Awakens will be in the new game for multiple reasons. First off, it doesn't really seem like a perfect match for a Battlefront game, but that is just judging from the trailer so far. It seems like it's gonna be more small scale battles and not that much new vehicles either. I mean, I would personally prefer to see some completely new original trilogy vehicles in the game such as tanks for the rebels like the IFTX from the old games instead of getting X-Wings and TIE Fighters from The Force Awakens that just looks differently. However, there seem to be a lot of awesome heroes they could use from The Force Awakens such as Rey, Finn and Kylo Ren, so that is one thing that speaks for Force Awakens. My completely honest guess is that I think they will stick to the original trilogy as there is still a lot of planets, vehicles and some heroes left to explore, and it doesn't really feel right to add either Force Awakens or Clone Wars in the expansions, as it would be so small scaled. The question regarding that is, will they add new planets that we all want such as Bespin or Yavin, or will they stick to the current 5 planets and just make more maps in new locations? This is what I'm a bit worried about, I really hope that they will be adding new planets, but for some reason I'm afraid that they're just gonna add more maps on the current planets, since they have already spent a huge amount of work capturing those planets in real life and recreating them in the game. But hopefully they will prove me wrong because I think people are gonna get disappointed if we get the same planets in the expansion passes. I would really like to see some more original trilogy planets such as Bespin, Yavin, Dagobah, Renvar and so on. Well to summarize, I think we need to remember that what we want is not always the most realistic thing. I want the Clone Wars eventually, don't get me wrong. Just imagine how epic it would look with these graphics and effects that they currently have but I don't want it in an expansion pass. There is just no way they can cover such a huge era in a couple of expansion passes, unfortunately. So my best bet is for more original trilogy content, but this is just my speculation, so I could be completely wrong. Let me know in the comments below what you think we will actually get in the season pass and what you're hoping to see. Make sure to subscribe for more Battlefront and Star Wars gaming content. I will see you guys soon again, and as always, may the force be with you.